and this woman is not taught. How many knows that there is hell in the house? Okay, okay, so some of you pretending not to know, but after you hear this story, I know you will know, right? So there's this particular woman, and this woman was having a very wonderful husband. And then the husband decided to take a trip. So the husband said, oh, I'm going out, you know, I'm going to, to go somewhere. And the woman said, oh, wonderful, go. So as the woman, as the husband traveled, um, um, the, woman had, the woman was cheating, because as I said, the woman is not taught. And the woman does not, so you know, how many knows that a lot of times the reason why we are who we are is because of the fear of the Lord in us, amen. And it's because of the grace of the Lord. When you receive Jesus, there's a special grace that envelopes your life so that you know you don't do this kind of thing. So this woman was cheating and as, as soon as her husband took off, um, she already had her calls and right? she texted and she says, you know, he's leaving at four o'clock, you know, so five o'clock somebody was already standing at the door. So as the person was standing at the door, she opened. And then as she opened, she didn't realize there was a text that she sent and, and the person didn't respond and she thought the person wasn't coming and then so the person was also coming and since she did, she, it was not confirmed she didn't think the person was going to come so okay so she now opened the door and she was with this one there comes a knock and she's thinking that can only be my husband because nobody else confirmed so she quickly told the person please please please, please can you go under the bed because my husband is here okay so she went and opened the door and he, lo and behold, it was not really the husband, it was somebody else. So now she's with the person and the husband decided, man, I forgot something. Mommy. So now the husband is deciding to come home. So as the, as, as the person knocks, she, she, she realized, man, that can be my husband. So she told, please, 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 can you go on top of the, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, some places they have like, um, what do you call this? Closet? You know, some closets you can climb on top. So he said, please, can you go on top of the closet, please? Because my husband is here. So now the one under the bed is listening. So now one is under the bed, one is on top of the closet. And the lo and behold, it was the husband. So when the husband said, ah, I forgot this, but then I decided to, to just to cancel. I will drive early tomorrow. Oh my God. Now there's someone under the bed and there's somebody on top of the closet. Now she's just thinking there. She's sweating and she's thinking, what am I going to do? Now the husband decided, you know, at this time they were, I don't know how many years, I hope not four years in marriage, but they, they were quite married for a while and there was no kids. So the husband said, ah, baby, when are we going to start having kids? She says, ah, why are you asking me this? Am I the one responsible for giving kids? Why don't you ask the one upstairs? So the one upstairs shout with a loud voice, no, 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 not me. Why don't you ask the one down under the bed? <laughs> I mean, she, she meant, why don't you ask God? Because God is upstairs, you know? So why don't you ask the one upstairs, not knowing that there was somebody upstairs. So the person upstairs said, no, 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 why are you asking me? Ask the one underneath the bed. And the husband realized, oh my God. So there's one on top and there's one under the bed. No, no, no. That's not, and that woman is not part of glorious women of wonders. Trust me. She, glorious women of wonders are women who are God-fearing, who are taught and they have Christ as their personal savior. So as I promised you that we're going to change gears, we're going to welcome.